That's why I do Heelys. See, I put the wheels in. These aren't Heelys, but I, we, did, we just came out with Batflower Heelys. Did Wait, you hear about this? What? Yeah, we did a collab. Wait, show me. <laughs> I don't have them. Oh, no, I can show you. Wait, pictures. yeah, show me. Yeah, it's real. I have to see this. Okay, you have to shout it out on the Twitch channel, too, so everybody goes and gets them. I will. I had, they're already, like, half sold out. What? Yeah, they're all the rage. I'll show oh you. Oh, my gosh, yes. The... How did I not hear about this? They're one of the few bands even doing anything. I'd never heard of a band doing a shoe collection. We're so excited to be a part of this collab. This is the, this is the promo video we made. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what? <They're pretty> sick. <laughs> your face when you're holding them? Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, we just start going crazy and like passing our hotel room. <laughs> like, not even rolling oh. with them. Okay. You don't have to watch the whole thing. I'm Wait, just no. I want to. I better see you on site later on, rolling I, around in these goddamn. Well, you know what? I don't have mine with me, and here's why. Did I? Did we talk about the fact that I live on a farm? Have I told you this? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I was doing farm work yesterday, and it was raining in Tennessee, and I forgot I had the Heelys on, and I had my wheels out, and that's a problem because I'm in the mud, and so there's just <laughs> these wheel channels, and they're just stuffed full of mud, and I was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this, and I left them outside for a minute, and then I forgot. You know, that happened with my Roomba one time. It was rolling around my apartment, and uh, my it dog- It left the apartment? No, my dog decided to take a shit, and it went oh, over, my, <laughs> my Roomba went into the dog poo. <laughs> that's horrible. And I have never used it since. Like, I got it, like, cleaned and everything and just something yeah now that i know that it is rolled through the dog poop i'm like mm. yeah it's for it's forever you gotta get a new yeah. one yeah yeah i think i just like it's just collecting dust now but it sounds like the same issue because it got stuck in the little wheelie thing in the yeah. Roomba, and it's just a whole ordeal except and, yours was with mud so well but it's mud and like probably horse shit <laughs> like, and whatever other animal that's lurking. How's the farm place. going? I know you haven't been it's, home very often. You just finished your headlining tour. I just got home. We finished the headlining tour a week and a half ago, and it feels like we finished it ten and a half years ago. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm. I, we drove up to here, and I was like, I do I am, am I a singer? Like, do I do this even? Because I've been like plumbing and shit. I've just been working on my space. Yeah. I finally like. I was spending all that time at, at the farm. Uh, I just built myself a little a little studio, like a studio set up, and I've been living in it. And I was stressing about making the record and doing all this creative stuff, and we're, we made music videos there. Like I was doing all this stuff there, and then immediately it was like, all right, now go on tour. And I left for tour, mm -hmm. and I finally came back, and I was like, I'm just gonna like get there and kick my shoes off and finally enjoy the farm. Yeah. And I got into my little makeshift studio room that I built in a barn, and I was like. I'm living like a squatter in my own home. This is there's no door on the bathroom. It barely flushes. Like there's no shower. It was it's horrible the way that I'm but living. You know, in it. you know what? Like once you like have enough time to actually renovate and stuff, it's gonna be so fulfilling for well, you. That's what I'm doing now. So mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm gonna start just working on little projects, mm -hmm. and I start walking up and down the place. And I'm like, oh, I need to fix this and fix that. Mm -hmm. I had a catastrophe with a plumbing pipe because I don't know what I'm doing, but now I've Googled it enough, and I've made enough mistakes to know what I'm doing, but it was midnight that I decided to start I working. like that you were like, get, you're, I'm going to take it into my own hands. Yes. I do, everything, I do everything like that. I don't, I don't ask for help. I, it's a problem. But I, <laughs> So I decided at midnight that I was going to uh, start working on this bathroom, and I drilled through a main water, main water line. I didn't know where the shutoffs were at the time, and it was just like... <laughs> spraying in this bathroom and, I, and it was coming from a wall that was half undone but I had to stop it so I ripped out the drywall with my bare hands um, and then I took it was just, it's just like a PEX tubing pipe and I kinked it and I'm holding it there like for dear life so it'll stop I'm soaking wet like drenched yeah, wet yeah. the bathroom is disgusting and I'm sitting there midnight my phone's nowhere to be seen I have no tools around me I'm like I'm gonna, what sleep. Do I I'm do? gonna sleep here until somebody like <laughs> gets worried about me and knocks on the door and finds me here yeah but I ended up getting creative and I tied something around it and then I fixed it. But like, I'm just an idiot. Oh like, my goodness. <laughs> so that's this what so like... that's what my time has been like since being off tour and I and it's been fun. It's been great. I am just but fun. I'm very confused by this whole setup. Like driving on this track, I'm like I know. Where's Isn't my plunger? This is weird. <laughs> I don't like this. You're like, where am I? Yeah. It's not real life. I don't multitask well. <laughs> I can't do these like separate modes. Like this is you do this and then at the end of the night you go to sleep. I don't do any of that. It's You're living like, two different lives. Yeah, yeah. 
Depending on what's right in front of me. Yes. And I'm still in plumber mode right now. Yeah, we got plumber mode and then musician mode. Yeah. Of course. And speaking Let's of mu- hope musician, that musician mode. mode kicks in by tonight, by the time I get on stage. Yes, but it musician mode, you announced a, a live stream that you were doing. Was that, was is that coming up or was that a while? We already did that. You already did that. It was and the it, last show of the tour. It was on Halloween. Yes. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So did you guys, was this like a real live stream? And yeah, it was oh, yeah. just you guys like on a on a stage or was it in a room? No, it like... was in a re- it was in a sold out show in Nashville. Oh, yeah. great. So, so they, it was okay, gotcha. They came in early. Uh, it was Veeps that did it and they're awesome. They like set they up all great. the cameras and all the different positions and had it all rigged up and there was a guy apparently this was in Nashville, but a guy in Texas who was actually doing the the mm-hmm. video switching and all that stuff. Um, yeah, and I watched it back afterwards. It was pretty cool. Like it worked out. Yeah. I, I think the live streams are great. I love that bands have been doing this even when shows are back now, you yeah. know, because well, a lot of people can't attend concerts, whether you want to like accept that or not. There are a lot of people who can't leave their homes and right. who have to stay home or might be in a weird situation. So they live for these live streams. So yeah. I know that they appreciate it more than anybody that people are still doing it. And yeah. And then even, doing it. even people who can leave their homes, but are like, you know, they may, maybe have family members that mm-hmm. are higher risk for COVID and they're just being like extra safe and don't want to go out. So yeah, yeah I, li- I like it. I think it was cool that we capped our tour with it. Mm-hmm. So it was like, here's the last show of the tour. Anybody who wanted to get tickets or was able to get tickets, got them. Yeah. Anyone who wasn't, you get to experience the last show with yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that's great. Thank yeah, you it was for doing good. That. And thanks for being one of my first interviews of uh, day three at Welcome to Rockville. We're going to throw it back to Space Zebra and the Shitheads. <laughs> Josh, Badflower.